Vivek Ramaswamy is a 2024 presidential candidate. Who joins me now? Wow, you have more people behind you, Vivek, than Joe had today. We got a lot of people behind us here. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. In Iowa. So you saw the polling. You're in Iowa. Hey, Iowa. Yes. How you doing? Uh, Joe Biden not looking so good. You saw the polls. You saw Pelosi twist the knife with Kamala Harris. How are things looking to you as a Republican? Well, the good news is I was happy to see that I'm beating Joe Biden in that poll and doing just fine. Here's the reality, though, Jesse, is that Joe Biden is a puppet for the managerial class. And part of the reason I don't even talk about him that much in my speeches here in Iowa and elsewhere is he is a figurehead for the deep state and the managerial class. And if they sacrifice him, they're just going to trot out the next puppet. That's why I think the Republican Party needs to not make the mistake we did in 2022 by actually focusing on a vision of our own. I think the more we're going to talk about Biden, the less of an opportunity we actually have, because he's going to be a sacrificial lamb. You mark my words, even that Hunter Biden indictment, which I think is itself a smokescreen earlier today, that's just going to be one more lever they use to get Joe Biden to get out of the way when he has stopped serving his useful purpose. Yeah, that'll be leverage so for nominee, sure. As Absolutely. I to be, they're no, they're gonna definitely going to use those yeah, indictments no against him it. if they need to turn the screws. So you're saying don't focus on Joe Biden. You're just saying go positive with your vision. Don't you think you could do both? We have to... Well, I think that we can fall into the trap of just pointing to the radical left. And I think that's what happened in 2022. We have to offer a vision of our own. So even if the left is feeding us race, gender, sexuality, climate, I want us talking more about the value of the individual, the family, the nation, God. If we have the courage to actually stand for our own vision, that's how we're going to bring young people along with us. That's how we're going to bring independence with us. Build a multi-ethnic working class coalition, leaving no city behind, no state left behind. I think we can win this in a landslide, Jesse, if we have the courage to actually stand for something. And what we see on the other side in the Democratic ticket is puppetry. And so whether it is Gavin Newsom or Michelle Obama or Joe Biden or whichever other puppet they trot out, that's really irrelevant to our ability to win this in a large scale. But right. we have to step up Real quick, and actually say we're not just running from something, we're running to something. Before I let you go, Vivek, yeah. Thank you. when you talk to the crowd in Thank Iowa, you. what's the one thing the people of Iowa tell you when they come up to you? The number one thing that they say is we want to revive national pride in this country. We have a crisis of national pride in this country. And young Americans, they are hungry for purpose and meaning. And so one of the things we're talking about is what does it even mean to be an American? Part of that is delivering economic growth. People tend to be more proud of a country when we are all making more money in that country. And so let's talk practically about how we get there. Drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear, put people back to work, stabilize the dollar. That's how we grow the economy. That's how we reunite this country. That's how we actually have an affirmative vision of our own. And, Jesse, that's how I think we win in a landslide. All right. Well, tell everybody in Iowa I love them from prime time and all the best. Good luck out there. Thank you, Jesse. Good to see you.